All right, guys, we're gonna look at uh, two different ways to put uh, degas pressure gauge on your cooling system uh, to monitor degas or cooling system pressure. Um, I highly recommend running a uh, degas pressure gauge, whether you're studded or not, whether you're stock or not, whether you got an EGR cooler or not. Um, you can get a lot of valuable information from watching your degas pressure. Um, and especially if you are stock, if you're just running stock and you don't know if you got a leak or not, uh, I would definitely put a degas gauge on. Okay, uh, check out my other video. I got a video explaining how temperature, pressure, volume, all that works together. Um, uh, how the, all the variables work together to determine, you know, um, pressure and all that. But that's another video. This video, we're going to show how I did both of these uh, pressure gauges. This is my first pressure gauge. I did this in a Lowe's parking lot uh, somewhere in Tennessee, I believe. Um, I did it for under $15, cheap, easy, and um, you know, there's no reason not to do it pretty much. Okay, what you're gonna want is a half inch PEX T. Um, I use PEX T's because they're only $1.25 compared to brass fittings, which are you know, like five bucks for a 3 8 inch bar fitting, but you can use a 3 8 inch bar fitting as well. So, half inch PEX T, uh, four hose clamps and uh, some 3 8 inch uh, hose. You can use black like a uh, heater core line, any kind of black automotive hose will work. Um, I was in a Lowe's parking lot and uh, Lowe's had this 3 inch uh, pneumatic airline for running to a compressor. It was really cheap and uh, it worked just fine. I've been running this particular setup for two years with uh, uh, bonehead gaskets and pretty extreme conditions, so it works. Um, so 3 8 inch airline. You're just going to tee that in there. You don't want to cut this line coming from the radiator. Just pull it off. Um, put a little piece of the 3 8 inch line there with a little thing. You want enough for it to be able to bend a little bit. And uh, then hose clamp it on, hose clamp it on. And you're just going to run that down through your firewall. You know, There's a nice big hole right there in the firewall. It's covered up with uh, Aluminum tape. Just punch your hole, punch your finger through it, make a little hole. Stick your your thing down through that. That's where I run all my wires. It's a good place. Let's go into the cab there. So you see there. There's your main wiring bundle going through the firewall. Right above it, you'll see a perforated foam uh, foam thing. You can actually pull that foam block out. It's kind of blocked in view by my low voltage shutoff. That that box there shuts off all my accessories when I hit 12.5 volts. Uh, but right behind that, you see it's a, it's a perforated foam thing. You can pull it out. I'd like to leave it in. But right behind that is where uh, you've got that hole coming through your firewall. And you just run it out under the foam. Uh, I've just got mine coming out back up there. Down, around, to here, like so. This is a 0 to 30 PSI air pressure gauge. You can get these on eBay for $5 shipped, okay? They're cheap, okay? You don't need to get one that's low code filled or anything. You can if you want to, but you can get it for 5 bucks. Yeah, I got the one with the 1 8 inch NPT. Uh, male coming out the side. You can do it out the back also, but then you got to drill a hole in your dash and come out the back. Um, I did this in a, in a Lowe's parking lot and it's worked for two years pretty good, so um, I can vouch for this method. And you can see my elegant like zip tie there to the little vent in my dash. I think that's the air exchange vent for my auto climbing control there. Uh, just got some zip ties there coming around and down. That's worked for, for two years really well. Simple and easy, the whole thing was under $15. It took me maybe maybe 20 minutes to do. Um, if you're not monitoring your degas pressure, you can do it for, for under $20 really easily. Now, just recently, I've upgraded to the Edge EAS Universal uh, Sensor Input System. Now I've got my degas pressure right there. So that's a little bit fancier. Um, I probably wouldn't have done it, done it if I didn't get a really good deal used on this box here. Um, but I did, I got a really good deal and then I bought the sensors on eBay. The universal sensor input system uses uh, standard 5 volt sensors. 
in the case of pressure, it's going to be a pressure transducer. And you can get them in uh, 30 PSI, 100 PSI, um, 15 PSI, whatever. This one here is 30 PSI. I've got one on my fuel bowl that's 100 PSI. I've got one on my transmission that's a 500 PSI. Uh, it, you can get them in any size. Um, I'll put a link in the video description to these on eBay. You can get them for about 30 bucks. Um, pretty straightforward. They're almost exactly like an ICP center. Well, they are basically the same thing as an ICP center. They're just slightly different. They use a similar, you know, connector like that. Um, really basic, really simple. Um, and I've got it screwed in there with sealant and stuff. Uh, if you're going to do this way, watch my video on actually making that hole. You want to use you want to use a low temp soldering iron, and you want to slowly melt that hole so that you have a nice big bead of plastic to bite into. You don't want to just drill it and tap it. You won't have enough plastic meat to hold that thread. So check out my other video on that. And uh, these these are really simple. I basically, just got it uh, going around, following my har harness there. Going down under my box there to my Edge EAS system and plugging right in, right in there. Uh, pretty easy setup. I, I do have videos showing how to how to set up, how to wire the pigtails, uh, how to put the uh, sheathing on there and all that. So check out that video. So basically, two ways you can do it. Um, this way kind of looks uh, kind of hokey, kind of backyardish, um, but it worked for me for two years and I was just going as cheap as possible. This way is a little bit more professional. You could just as easily use one of these uh, into that T there. So I'd have the same T and I just have this little pigtail coming off right there. Uh, but I, I like this, it's gonna be out of the way, it's gonna be nice and uh, strong and compact and it's uh, not gonna look all crappy like that. I get more comments about this hose. I know a lot of you have probably seen this on the videos and wondered what the fuck that thing is. That's my degas pressure gauge, and it works, so don't laugh. That's how I ran for two years, pulling trailers for a living with bonehead gaskets, okay? But this is the upgrade right there. That's $30, the Edge EAS system is like 150, and the Edge box itself is uh, a good 400. You can run one of these going to a digital gauge. You can get a, a nice uh, square digital gauge. Um, they come in all sorts of shapes and sizes, and you can even get round ones, square ones, flat ones, long ones. Um, I'll, I'll put a link in the video description to uh, just a generic digital uh, gauge you can put in your dash as well. So that's it for the gauges. Uh, make sure you check out the video on why you want to run a pressure gauge, and uh, the video on how to thread and tap that hole there.